A very warm welcome again at our housekeeping series. Always, you know, we learn about and uh, different aspects about in the housekeeping department as it is the main role of and uh, the hotel organization to be keep it clean, aesthetic, and into the well manner, and to be uh, providing a best and satisfactory service to the guest. What do you think, guys? What is the most important uh, tool from and uh, the hotel which attracts guests on mainly towards on highly basis? Absolutely, you might be right. That are a uh, guest rooms. Whenever we are thinking about an a five star hotel, the attractive thing is about obviously the every aspect like in the banquet halls, lobby, everything. But the main attraction is about on the guest room. The every series of on the guest room which shows and a different aspects about them, what it shows like into the asymmetrical manners or whichever the interior designing and the decoration aspects with the high standards. So welcome back to be giving an, an introduction about and the housekeeping department. Today we are going to be a learn about and different types of an a guest room. So at the starting of my a very fantastic video, I would like to give introduction myself. My name is Suraj Jayvanta Yadav, assistant professor at Diva Patil School of Hospitality, Kolhapur. Moving towards uh, types of guest rooms in the hotel. Our first guest room in the hotel is the single room. A room that has one single bed mean to be accommodate one person. That room is called as a single room. As we know that sometimes when we are traveling to a different hotels and we require the accommodation only for an a one guest, we do not go for the luxury needs at the property. So that time we require an a single room. So in short, a room which has a single bed is called as a single room. Next is a double room. A room that has one double bed mean to be accommodate one or two persons. This room is called as an a double room. So usually we found at a large size bed in a guest room where one or the two guests can accommodate easily. That room is known as a double room. Third room is a triple room, a room that can accommodate a three persons and has been fitted with a twin beds. One double bed and one twin bed or two double beds. So usually the main motto of an a twin room is to be accommodate a three people. So in this there is a no certificate of giving an a different or a certain kind of and to be giving an a bed. Okay. So here we can give only about an a one single bed or one double bed or two single beds and one single bed. So usually a room which is called as an a triple room is called as a room is called as a triple room when there are a accommodate can be a three persons. Moving to the next slide. Next is about on the quad room. So a room assigned to four people. Maybe have two or more beds. So usually a room which can accommodate four people, which is having a two king size beds. Usually that room is called as a quad room. The quad term is known as a four. Next is a queen room. A room with a queen size bed may be occupied by one or more people. So there are a different types of a bed in our hotels we found it easily and usually a room which has a queen size bed that room is called as a queen room king room a room with king size bed may be occupied one or more people so usually the king size bed is known as the largest bed in the hotel so a room which is having a king size bed that room is called as a king room Twin room. A room with two twin beds may be occupied by one or more people with a separate headboards. So usually you will be find out a two twin beds. But very important in this twin room, there must be a separate headboards to the different twin beds. Okay. Next is the Hollywood twin room. A room that can accommodate two persons with two twin beds joined together to be a common headboard. So in the previous slide we have learned about in the twin room that the separate headboards were there but now for an a twin bed there must be a common headboard and that room is called as the Hollywood twin room. 
Next is the parlor. Usually, uh, many times we learn about an or we have heard about an this term, but what it exactly? So, parlor is known as a sitting or living room, not used as a bedroom. So, in short, a room which is having a uh, sitting facilities where you cannot get a sleeping facilities over there, where you can easily find out a different types of sofas, tea poise, and everything. That room is called as a parlor room. Next is the studio room, a parallel setup with one studio bed. So what is mean by studio bed? The studio bed is known as a sofa cum bed. Uh, so in a day series, in a day form, we can be convert a bed as a sofa and in and or at a night, we can use it as a bed. And that room is called as a studio room. Next is the suite or the executive suite. A parlor or a living room connected with two, connected with to one or more bedrooms. A room with one or more bedrooms and separate living space. So usually the suite room or the executive suite room is having an a one parlor setup as well as with this room is having an a bedroom facilities. So usually the hall is there with a you know a coffee table, sofa set, attractive lamps, and everything you are writing table is there and you have been a sleeping facilities into the another room where you will find out your uh, personal bathroom washroom area your personal bed so that entire room is called as a suite room next is the junior suite a large room with a part partition separating the living room furnishing with the bedroom so usually a large room which can be have a partitions where the one part is used as your hall area and the one part is your about and the sleeping area so main important factor there must be a common wall which is having a partition for and the entire room and that room is called as the junior suite which is having a small carpet area than the executive suite next is a presidential suite and a very important the most expensive room provided by the hotel usually only one president suite is one uh, present in one single hotel property similar to the normal suite as a president suite always has one or more bedrooms and living space with a strong emphasis and grand in a room decoration high quality amenities and supplies tailor-made services so that every aspect is keep in mind when we are designing a presidential suite because this is known as the highly payable room in the hotel the largest room is present in the hotel and that room is the presidential suite. Next is the duplex room. A set of rooms not at the same level and connected by internal stairways. Generally the parlor and one bedroom may be on one floor and the another bedroom on the another floor so usually you will be find out the rooms which are connected by the internal stairs so at the bottom you can see the sitting area over there at the top there are the bedrooms so usually the main aspect about and the duplex room they are connected by the internal stairways next is the hospitality room it is a parlor with additional facilities used by the hotel guests to be entertained his guests, usually charged on the hourly basis. So usually when I'm booking my room, I'm staying in the room and that time I'm calling my friends, my relatives and my guests to add that room. So that room is called as and the hospitality room because I'm giving and the hospitality to my guests and usually this room is having an hourly charges basis. Next is the interconnecting room. A two rooms adjacent to each other having an interconnecting door allowing entry from one room to the other without having to go out into the corridor. So usually the two rooms are nearby each other and that two rooms are connected by the internal door. So usually a room which are connected by the internal door is called as the interconnecting room. Next is the Murphy room. So 
a room that is fitted with a sofa bed or the Murphy bed that is the bed folds of or a wall or a closet which can be a transferred from a bedroom in the night time to a living room in a daytime. So usually the Murphy bed is present in the Murphy room. A bed which we can use it at the night for an sleeping and at the day we can convert that bed into the wall and we can use it that as our seating area. So that bed is called as a Murphy bed. Next is the adjoining room. A room with a common wall but no connecting doors. So the rooms are usually nearby each other and there is an, a common wall between them. So that room is called as the adjoining room. Next is the cabana. This room is found near the swimming pool. It is the attractively furnished. It is also has a bar and additional supplies of towels provided in this room. So the main aspect of this room, the cabana has to be a nearby a swimming pool. And that's the reason we are providing more bar towels in the cabana room. Next is the penthouse. A set of rooms situated on the topmost floor of the hotel and is one of the costliest accommodation patronized by the people who would like to stay for a longer duration in the hotel. It is provided with the kitchen and the servant quarters and separate passage. A small garden is also provided. Part of the room is the open of the sky. So usually the room which is located on the higher floor of the hotel which gives the view of the entire city when you come out that room you can see the open sky from and that room so that room is called as the penthouse next is the lanai room a room overlooking the view of the waterfall or any a natural scenery so a room which gives you know a window view with a natural scenes and that room is called as a lanai room Next is the accessible or disabled room. The room type is mainly designed for the disabled guest and it is required by the law of the hotel. Must provide a certain number of accessible rooms to avoid the discrimination. As per the rule of the Indian government, the every star category hotel must have a disabled room into their property because to be avoid just the discrimination among ourselves. So these were the types of the guest rooms are present in the hotels and the every guest room is showing the different aspects and they are attracting the guests according to their interior decoration and types of an guest room. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thank you.